Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to spend a few moments together, God's Word and in prayer. This week we'll be talking about the letter of Hebrews and gain some insights from this book. Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 2 In these last days he has spoken to us by his Son, whom he appointed heir of all things. Hebrews begins by making some big statements in the first three verses. Christ is the heir of all things. Prophets were sent to speak to God's people. They brought important news and teachings from God, but they were only messengers. Now God has come and has spoken to His people directly through His Son, who is the heir of all things. This reference points back to Psalms 2 and verse 7 and 8, which says, He said to me, You are my son. Today I have become your father. Ask me, and I will make the nations your inheritance, the ends of the earth your possession. In Jesus, God fulfills this amazing promise. Jesus is the heir who receives all that the Father has. Peter says that this inheritance can never perish, spoil or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you. This is the idea that Jesus is preeminent. It is connected to Jesus' standing as firstborn over all creation. He made the worlds, meaning Jesus made more than the material world. He also made the very ages. History him itself is the creation of the Son of God. Jesus is the brightness of the Father's glory, which speaks of the radiance that shines from a source of light. In the earthly ministry of Jesus, He constantly demonstrated the power of His Word. He could heal, forgive, cast out demons, calm nature's fury, full at an expression of one word. Here we see that His Word is so powerful that it can uphold all things. It's also incredible to realize that believers will be joint heirs with Christ. The Spirit Himself testifies with our spirit that we are the children of God, and if children, heirs also, heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ. If you know Christ, you are a part of His bride, the church, and He, the bridegroom, allows you and I to share His inheritance. And someday, you will see Him return as King of kings and Lord of lords to make His final claim as his inheritance and exercise sovereign, everlasting rule over the earth. As co-heirs with Christ, we are set to inherit all that Christ inherit, inherits, namely salvation from sin and eternal life with Him. Let's pray. Father, we thank You for Your Word. We thank You for Your Word is alive, it is true. It is faithful. As we have read today, God, that you are, you are the heir over all things and you are calling us to be joint heirs with you, O God, as your children, as your bride. Lord, we pray that you will empower us. You will fulfill, Lord, every plan and purpose that you have in each of our lives. We thank you, God. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.